please please since i have not the letter is not before me i have not even had a look at it please have the patience to hear my reply today give me that indulgence since you not since i don't have the letter in front of me i have read i have sorry i have uh, heard very patiently what ritu jain just read out she has uh, she has according to read a portion of the letter of mr parak where he talks about a systematic failure from state governments involved no from the various coal companies in the states from trade no, unions no, no, no. from Ch the coal no, 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 officials no 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 i this think this is a matter of no, no, chatan no. mitra sir but matter of procedure we are getting two rebuts procedure was first come first serve no, that case. procedure was I mean, changed by none why the minister of india who was opposing no, to sir, 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 what the senior letter what it comes here that we must ask on your channel today The no, people of, who were opposing change of that has not seen the letter. From he should not talk on it. No, no, this, this to a bidding process was the Bharatiya Janata Party. He should made. not talk on something which he has not it seen. It was it was Vasundhara no, Raja Singh. The Bharatiya Janata Party Rajasthan, is not coming anywhere in this letter. It was Jharkhand in this, of in this letter. In this letter, there is no there is no reference. No reference. No reference. Who was no, then an advisor? Now there is a big problem. No, I am sorry, Mr. Sujeewala. You know nothing of the subject. You know nothing of the subject. You know nothing of the subject. I have not read the letter. Mr. Sujeewala, one minute. I request you. I request you getting two rebuts. Chandan Mitra, complete your first rebut. I want to place on record here what this letter no, tells no. is that Parak told the Cabinet Secretary of India on the 22nd of March 2005 that the coal mafia lay within the coal ministry. This is a very big thing for a coal secretary to say that my can own you, ministry can you, can has the coal mafia which is embedded it. I think it's a very important charge, and given that the coal secretary was flagging off such a serious concern to the government, what was the prompt action taken by the government? To the contrary, I find that the same person, Shibu Soren, is given back the ministry in 2006. I think uh, Chandan Mitra wanted to rebut with your permission, Mr. Sujeewala. Chandan Mitra first, and the Hartosh Singh Bal, and Vinod Mehta hasn't even spoken yet. Yes, Chandan Mitra. No, for, uh, first I want to want to tell my friend, Mr. Sujeewala, that uh, if he, since he has not read the letter. he should not just on the basis of what he is hearing just fling wild allegations since he hasn't read the letter then you say i'm i'm sorry i've read the letter let me read the letter and get back and answer your questions because this is an explosive letter which has completely torn It's a very the last explosive big leaf that the prime minister and the ministry yes and the ministry was wearing i mean this says the minister the mafia exists within the ministry the coal secretary a very senior honest and respected officer um, he is a retired man now but is, but everybody agrees that he is a very honest officer okay, so and is not given to loose talk so when he says that you sorry you you continue to level yes, allegations, level allegations of impropriety against this very coal secretary and on this very <laughs> channel sir Your no, because persons have said no, yes. Mr. Parak is being investigated. No, Prime Minister, of course. I just want course. to remind Prime, Arnab Goswami was there on the channel and he conducted the program. No, no, one minute, one minute. No, don't, don't, don't start making wild guesses this because is, you don't know is, anything of the subject. This is with due regards to you, so, sir. <coughs> this is classical BJP double speak. No, I also have due regard, but today I am sorry. I am sorry. Yes, the fact is, Mr. Parak has also admitted that he was bullied. He, he was, was bullied. bullied into accepting what the ministers ministers yes he was bullied okay we've got a, we've so, got a reaction so, of parak on what the letter what do you try to do gentlemen i've been just so, told by a news desk that we've got an exclusive yeah, reaction yeah. of mr parak on this explosive letter which many people now believe could be the turning point in the whole colgate controversy i want to play it out before i come back here's mr parak himself i had written a letter to cabinet secretary in, in response to a letter which the minister wrote requesting for my transfer one of the issues there was that i have not been trying to help him in eliminating mafia so all i said is mafia is there all over and i can't eliminate mafia we need to bring some structural changes in the management of coal industry which ministers are not willing to do so that is it Mafia is all over, na. No? Otherwise, uh, the, the entire coal industry is surrounded by mafia. So you also said that Shibu Soren was the coal minister at the time, was dragging his feet on the auction as well as the uh, competitive bidding. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's what is written, and that's the fact. And sir, do you believe there has been political interference in the uh, 
Yes, there was a big issue about it. I had a lot of difference with Mr. Shibu Zoran on that issue. But ultimately, PM agreed with my recommendation. Well, that Mr. Parekh has just confirmed the contents of the letter. That's very important here. Hartosh Singh Bal, another question will be for the Prime Minister that what was the action taken against Shibu Soren? Shibu Soren is accused by Parekh in this letter of trying to get access to the agenda of the screening committee, which he was not a part of. In other words, Shibu Soren had forced the Cold Secretary of India, bullied him into doing something against the public interest. But I don't know whether there's any evidence that the Prime Minister did anything here in response to that. Well, I think, Arnab, quite clearly, there is now little room for the Prime Minister to hide. There are serious questions. He has to answer them. He spent the last four years running away from serious allegations on various scams, including the 2G. But I think with this letter and with these incidents, I think there's no question. This is a letter to the Cabinet Secretary. Obviously, Parak is not referring to subordinates of his, he can easily overrule them. The implication of what he means by the coal mafia is clear. Somebody is made a minister again after a year. Uh, what is the Prime Minister doing through all this? Well, Vinod Mehta, there's very little room for manoeuvre now for the Prime Minister, is there? After this letter. No, Arnab, Arnab, I think this letter is quite explosive. Even though I think Mr. Parekh may not be the world's biggest angel, I think Mr. Parekh is also quite a, a dodgy sort of guy, but this letter is there. But I want to make the larger point that the Prime Minister, there are various allegations, and if I can borrow a phrase that you use, the nation wants to know, not just in the Colgate scam, but in the 2G scam, and in other matters, how the Prime Minister has behaved. And the catch-22 in this situation is that once the CBI interrogates the Prime Minister, there will be demand that he steps down. There is no question that he can continue to be Prime Minister after being interrogated by the CBI. They will say, you please Precisely. step down. That's a very Precisely. serious point now. The whole inquiry is over. So therefore, the Prime Minister's position is very, very, is very sticky. You that see, if he agrees and if he says, I have nothing to hide, and if the CBI goes to his house or to his office yeah. and interrogates him, the entire opposition will drop on him and say, you can't be Prime Minister. No, but the opposition has asked so many times. By the CBI. No, the opposition has exactly asked for the Prime Minister. So Prime this is exactly Minister's... what I said. What? This is... Exactly what I said, Arnab, you recall, in my first intervention, I said that, you see, this is, his position is untenable. How can the Prime Minister of the country be interrogated by But you said CBI so, so many times on so many occasions. the head of the ministry at no, no, point, Chandan Mitra, just to play devil's advocate, no, but this just to play serious. devil's advocate, this you asked for his resignation on so yeah, many yeah, occasions. Yeah, said before, but, but this time, <coughs> who has that may have been political, uh, in, this is not political. In whose tenure, there have been a dozen cases that are still being tried. He has convicted ministers in his cabinet. One minute. He is being interrogated under a fundamental difference. The Minister of Gujarat has been fundamental difference. Not one, but the government of Gujarat has been facing a dozen trials. So we are talking about the Prime Minister of India. We are talking about the Prime Minister of India. Prime Minister of India. Do you believe? Do you believe? Because what has the Prime Minister said? No, what Prime Minister has said that the decision that he took was completely appropriate. What has Mr. Parikh said? Please, please uh, let us have the reference to the subject. Mr. Surjewala, Mr. Parikh said that the decision that the Prime Minister took was 100% correct. Mr. Surjewala, Mr. this Parikh is not about Hindalko alone. We heard. No, we, Mr. Surjewala, we heard one minute. Arnab on your channel, he said Prime Minister <coughs> not one. No, 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 Mr. Surjewala, Mr. Surjewala, one minute. Mr. Surjewala, you know this is not about Hindalko yes, alone. Let me just come in. It's not about Hindalko. It's about the way the coal ministry was running. It's about the rot in the coal mafia. It's about revealing information to a minister that goes against public interest. It's about appointments that were made which were wrong. It's also about the fact that the coal secretary says there was no political commitment to fight on the coal mafia at that period of time. How can the Prime Minister be blind to all this? This is the backdrop to what happened in Hindalko. You see, Hindalko, we are making a basic assumption that Hindalko was a decision taken by a bureaucrat. What is clear from this letter which I am flashing tonight on the news are, is that nothing was happening in a vacuum. 
right mr subramaniam it was not happening in a bureaucratic vacuum there were larger forces operating the prime minister has uh, never uh, said no, mr. Prime, can i intervene no, and mr. say one subramaniam's thing prime minister has never first. said arnab no mr subramaniam's uh, perspective first prime minister has mr subramaniam's perspective first they're coming back to uh, Uh, arnab i think uh, you have summed it up we are not today discussing the uh, kwanwan uh, the, the 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 birla case now 